式。
do some worship. Hey, church family, how are you doing? All right, welcome to Friendsgiving and a whole lot of other stuff. Before you sit down, we're going to prime the pump for Thanksgiving. Tell someone near you what you're grateful for today, what you're thankful for today. Do that, and then we'll get rolling. All right. Okay. Now, just so you all know, um, I have plenty of Thanksgiving puns I'm saving for next week. I don't want to ruin anybody's appetite this early on before Thanksgiving. But, uh, wow, today uh, is going to be an amazing wild ride for our, our third service for sure. If this is your first Sunday at Skyline Lakeside, I want to welcome you to this campus. Our church family is thrilled that you're here. Uh, we do this every week. You're invited back. Now, we don't do brats and dogs every week. Now, don't get me wrong. But we are here every week uh, lifting the name of Jesus up. And uh, we invite you to come back as many times as you want, and if this is your church home, or you've been many times, or many, 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 many times, welcome home. We love what God is doing here. Also to our patio, we see you out there. Welcome, right? A um, couple quick things. As we start to head into the holidays, today we're going to be uh, doing child dedications uh, after announcements. And Yes, absolutely. It's going to be amazing. And then after service, um, when I'm back up here, we're going to share a little bit about what God's done uh, over the past year in and through this church as part of our Friendsgiving. We're doing Friendsgiving because we're grateful for, for God using us and using this church body to be a blessing and to draw people to Jesus. And so we want to share some of those things with you. And then after that, we're going to go outside and we're going to be baptizing a bunch of people who are, are making a public profession of faith. And we're super excited for that. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. And, and then after that, we're having a barbecue with brats and dogs. So, hey! <laughs> wow. <clears throat> you're probably going to notice after this, I know some of you in here, you're those sneaky ones that have already decorated for Christmas. And we're not going to, uh, we know you're in here. But uh, we're going to start talking about all things Christmas here, uh, even starting today. So on your way in, you might have noticed that we have a tent set up because we have a cool opportunity to partner with Operation Christmas Child this Christmas. So Kim and Nikki are going to come up and share about that opportunity. Hey, church family. So this year for our Christmas outreach, we're teaming with Samaritan's Purse and Operation Christmas Child. Um, Jesus tells us to go be witnesses to Judea and Samaria, which is our local area, and to the ends of the earth. And the way that we can do that as a church is by partnering with Samaritan's Purse and Operation Christmas Child. So we have a table set up outside, and you have the opportunity to pick up a shoebox today. Um, you'll fill it and return it back to us. Um, we'll be here each Sunday until December the 10th. Um, so if you would fill your box, bring it back by December 10th. Or if you'd rather do it online, there's a QR code on a flyer out there, and you can do an online shoebox. So it's just a way to give a gift, and also the gospel of Jesus Christ will be shared with these um, children. Okay. And our youth department has already done 43, so they got us with a good start, so we just got to finish strong, t church. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate you, and they'll be out there every week right outside the sanctuary to be able to do that. Um, ladies of Lakeside, we have a Coffee and Connection the first Saturday of every month, December included. So my wife is going to come up and share a little bit about December 2nd. Uh, Saturday, December 2nd at 9.30. Ah! All right. 
So we've been doing Coffee and Connection almost a year now. I can't believe it. It is such a time I look forward to every month just being with all the ladies who can make it. Um, it's one of those things, if you can make it, show up. If you can't, then just come back next time when you can. But this month, we're having a little Christmas celebration. So I want to let you know that if you're coming and you want to participate in a stealing gift exchange, um, bring a 10 to $15 wrapped gift that we can do our stealing game with. And we're also going to be having quite an extensive time of prayer um, to end the year. We're going to be praying for our church and for our community, for our pastors and our leaders. And so it's going to be a really special time of praying together as well. So I hope to see you. Of course, we'll have all of our coffee and goodies and it'll be great. So please come and use this time to bring a friend. Um, Many people who maybe don't know the Lord are open to coming to something at Christmas. So bring a neighbor, bring a friend that's on your Oikos list. We'd love to have them. Thank you. And let's clarify on that. Don't steal the gift that you bring right? You pay for it, and then you would bring it, and then it's pretend stealing, okay? All right. Whew, just wanted to make that clear. Um, yeah. Uh, also, you're going to hear the term Spirit of Christmas and Christmas Nights kicked around here in the next couple of weeks. So just to clarify one more time, if you live in Lakeside or you've been around Lakeside even a little bit, you know Spirit of Christmas is the first Saturday night of December the 2nd, it's all afternoon and evening, a big street festival to, to kick off the Christmas season. They do a Christmas tree lighting and all of that. We are going to have a team down there at Spirit of Christmas uh, to bless the community. So that's the one thing. Then on December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, is just Christmas nights. And that's at our Rancho campus. That's a huge Oikos event. So we invite you to bring your friends and family to that event and come with them, of course. Or if you want to serve, you can serve at one or all of the nights through our website. But it's incredible with train rides, sledding, music, Christmas tree lighting, food. It's a great, great evening. And so we want to invite friends and family, everyone to come out to Christmas nights. All right. I want to commend all the kids for doing your best. I know it's been a while. And parents, I know you're probably sweating a little bit. That's uh, I've been there. Um, I still, I got two teen daughters. I, they still make me sweat sometimes like, oh gosh, sorry. Oh, they're still in here. My bad. (laughs) What are you going to do? Uh, but here's how this is going to work because I know, uh, this isn't a huge stage. And so we'll call one family up at a time. Whoever's coming up with you, we'll, we'll have you come up and stand here. I'll let you introduce your family. Uh, on the screen behind me will be uh, a picture of the, the child with the scripture verse that the family picked out. Once they're introduced, we're going to pray over uh, the family and the kids. I I can't emphasize how important something like this is. These are parents that are bringing their families before the church for prayer and for support. Having brought up four kids in the church, I can't tell you how crucial church family is to, to shield kids from the world. To love kids every single week consistently to teach them that the way they should go. We are partnering with parents and families, loving on parents and families, supporting them as they try to raise kids in a crazy, crazy world in a crazy, crazy time. So on that note, uh, let's have the Bro Borg family come on up. Whoever's coming, let's come. All right. All right, we have Grayson and Jackson coming up, and why don't you introduce who you have up here with you? Okay. Hi, this is Jackson. Jackson is two, and this is Grayson. He's five, and then they have their grandparents and myself. All right, right. we're so glad to have you here. All right, family, let's extend a hand. We want to pray over, um, this is Grayson here, right? Jackson. Jackson, okay. All right. Uh, All right. So we're going to pray for them and uh, they're going to be kids and we're going to love that. Right. Absolutely. Let's pray for them. Jackson, God knows you before you were born. He formed you in the womb. And Lord, we just lift up Jackson to you this morning. Bless him as he grows up. Bless his family as they teach him in the way he should go. May this church come around and be a blessing as well. Grayson, we pray for you, Lord. You were prayed for and God delivered what was asked for. We want to give your life up to the Lord 
May your whole life be one that serves Jesus, follows Jesus, and is an example and a light to others. Lord, we pray for this whole family. May your hand just be upon them. Guide them in wisdom and discernment. Help them to speak words of truth into the the lives of these kids. We're grateful for the precious treasure entrusted to us. And we lift them up in, in your precious name. Amen. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. The Miller family, come on up. Whoever's coming, Millers, come on up. All right. Okay. Oh, is the baby in the nursery? (laughs) Oh, we're good. Okay, here we go. Just, Clyde, it's okay, man. It's all good. All right, come on up. All right. So this is Clyde. All right. All right. Why don't you introduce yourself and who you have up? Uh, I'm Jessica, Clyde's mom, and this is his aunt, Amber. (laughs) Aunt Amber and Clyde. All right. We're so glad to have you here, and we're so glad to, to be praying for you this morning. Great church family, you know what to do. Let's lift up a hand in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Clyde. We thank you for this family. We pray for him this morning. Clyde, may you listen to your parents' instructions and the teaching. May the wisdom that they give you be a a grace to your head and an adornment for your life and and all things that you do. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for this family. May Jesus' truth just be shown throughout your life. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. All right. The Galts. Let's go, Galts. Where are you? There they are. Oh, yeah, that's aw- isn't it awesome? Uh, I know. All right. All right. Pray for a future worship leader there. <laughs> All right. Do what? Oh, sorry. Okay. Jeff, is it going to be you? Are you up to introduce? This is, I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff. This is my wife, Anita, my three kids, Dylan, Damian, Annabella, my mother, and my cousin up here. All right. Awesome. So Annabella and Dylan are getting dedicated today, and Damian's getting baptized afterwards. So woo, woo, let's go, Galt. All right. All right. All right, church, let's, let's pray the scripture over these kids. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this family, and we just know you're working mightily in their midst, and we're grateful to be able to see it. It's a privilege to see. Uh, Lord, we pray that you purify them, uh, help them obey in your truth, and to show a sincere love from the heart for each other, right? Lord, we know that your word is enduring, and so as the word is implanted in the hearts of the kids of this family, Lord, may it, it grow and be fruitful, I pray that you encourage their parents and be a blessing upon them as they seek to follow you. Thank you for the family that surrounds them to love and support. And thank you they're they're a part of our church family as well. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. Bring us family. All right. Are they here? The bring? Oh, there they are. Okay, right there. I'm looking in the wrong place. Come on up. That's you. That is you. All right. It is. And let me just say, your parents brought a mighty verse to pray over you today, boy. All right. You want to introduce? I'm Javier. This is my wife, Olivia. Jimmy, uh, James, this is our four. Madeline's five. All right. Awesome. All right. Man, you all look amazing. All right, we want to pray for your family. Um, We know that this is the armor of God. We're going to pray that over over James this morning and for you you as well as your family. Lord, we thank you for the Bringus family. We thank you for their kids and just uh, the home that you're you're gifting these kids to. We pray for the parents, uh, just for wisdom and discernment and strength and patience and and all of the things as we raise littles right now, Lord, we pray for James, the full armor of God, that you just bless him and you gird him and you strengthen him as he navigates his life. May we as a church come and surround and speak truth and love 
And we're just grateful, Lord, for the opportunity to say, Jesus, have your hand upon James and this family. And may you guide them and direct them in all their ways. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I think he's going to be a dancer. <laughs> all right. God bless you. Thank you, family, so much. All right, Judy's. Here we go. All right. There's more kids in arms here. <laughs> All right, Riley, Harley, and Ellie, coming on up. <laughs> All right. This is awesome. I've known Katrina since she was a, before a teenager even, right? And, and our, probably. All right, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Zach. This is my wife, Katrina. And these are our three daughters, Harley, Riley, and Eleanor. All right. Awesome, right? All right. Hope you're saving up for weddings. <laughs> we'll pray for that too, right? <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Judy family and that you've brought them here to, to this church to be encouraged and, and loved on. And we just are grateful for these three girls and the privilege it is to, to speak into them, to support them. And we pray, Lord, for uh, this family. Lord, we pray that you just bless Zach and Katrina as they uh, just navigate life with, with three girls um, and all at the, the turns that life will bring, that your presence is resting heavy upon them and that you bless them, Lord. They are God's handiworks. We know that you've created good works for them in Christ Jesus beforehand. So help bring those works and light their path so they know where they should go and how they should lead. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you, Judy's. All right. What a blessing and just humbling privilege it is as a church to gather around and support and love on families. And a special encouragement to those parents. That's very, actually very, if you've been there before, just bringing your kids up on stage and not knowing what they're going to do is, uh, whoo, it's something, but what a, they did, they all did great. It was awesome. So good job, kids. Good job, parents. Um, and now I think we're ready. I'm so excited for uh, today's message. Pastor Jeremy's going to be giving us an update. If you are getting baptized, I'll just let you know when Pastor Jeremy starts sharing pictures of the different campuses, that's probably a good time to go change up and be ready for baptism because that's you'll, you'll, you'll know when he gets there, it'll be pictures. And he's going to share some awesome stuff about our Lakeside campus too, not to be a spoiler at all, but you're going to hear some cool stuff. And then at the end, we're going to just, we're going to celebrate. It's going to be great. All right, let's jump into our live feed.